up everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Trakayla for the ones who are new so y'all today I wanted to do a little sit down um yeah I wanted to sit down with you guys especially my first time mothers all right like I just wanted to just be open and honest with this topic that I want to share with you guys okay <laughs> and yeah you know like I just I feel like we should be more honest with what's going on and how we feel about certain things and all that, especially coming on as first time moms. I mean, we, we go in unexpectedly, okay? Like, we just be like going with the flow with type of stuff, all right? But this topic will be all about breastfeeding. So, yes, y'all, y'all get y'all wine, do whatever y'all need to do, get your notes or whatever. Because this is, this is some, you know, some real stuff we're going to be talking about, all right? So, without further ado, let's get right into this video. The first thing, okay, I am 22 years old. I have an amazing, beautiful son named Legend. If you watch my channel, you've seen him running around and all that. And he is 16 months now, going on 17 months, March 3rd. So, yes, I always, always wanted to breastfeed my children. Um, I just knew that was something that I wanted to do. I didn't want to bottle feed. I didn't want to do formula. I always wanted to just produce milk for my children. I mean, who doesn't, okay? Like, I feel like that's every mother um, goal to breastfeed their children and just have that bonding moment, right? And I was like, you know what? I have I have some jugs, okay? Like, just keeping it a buck with y'all. I have some jugs. So, it's like... These gonna be put to work one way or another, okay? <laughs> God did not create these for no reason, okay? So, um, <laughs> um, yeah, so when I had Legend, um, I, you know, I, he latched on fine. Like, he latched on so good because the nurse helped me as soon when she laid him on my chest and everything like that. And she was like, oh, he's hungry. So, she helped him latch on, okay? So, that was fine. It was the after effect, all right? It was the aftermath that, you know, was kind of difficult for me personally because I um, I didn't know what I was doing, okay? So just moving on, I was placed in my room. And of course they have lactation nurses for you and everything like that, but y'all, like, uh, legend did not want to latch on again. So I, I felt like it was because my nipples, like it was just, a little too big at the moment because it was swollen and everything like that so it was very 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 hard for him to latch on so they had to give me a little nipple shield and he did not like the nipple shield legend do not like anything that's like silicone he, he's not a pacifier baby he's none of that all right so yes when they put that nipple shield on him we had some problems too okay so we're doing whatever <laughs> we're doing whatever at this point we're doing the pumping like the pumping suction thing um i'm calling nurses in like oh he's not eating he's not eating because y'all was freaking out i was you know going through a little postpartum already i was crying i was talking to my husband i talked to my mom like i'm a bad mom like he's not feeding like it's just a lot it was a lot so finally Finally, after some hard work, I believe that full day, we finally, because he was getting some, like, because the nurse would, um, she would pump a little bit, and then she would take the, what is that? It's the thing that they get the medicine out of. She would take that and put some in his mouth. So he was still feeding, but it wasn't, you know, a latch on session with me and him type thing. So, yeah, but finally, he was able to really lash on and get the milk and all that but of course i still had to use the nipple shield here and there and all that so yeah that was the you know the jib of everything when he first started to you know breastfeed and everything like that so now i'm able to store some milk um just in case he wasn't like really getting the proper feeding i would put some milk in a bottle um pump some milk in a bottle and i would also store it in a little um milk storage bag and put it in the freezer and marking and all that stuff so i was doing that so he was alternating from the breast and the bottle okay he would prefer the bottle more a little bit but once he got the hang of really getting to my breast he preferred my breast okay so it became a time where i got lazy y'all i got so lazy because if you know you know 
waking up at three, two o'clock every hour on the hour to feed your child is very draining, especially when you have a C-section. So for the ones who don't know, I had a C-section, all right? And it was very, very hard for me to get up and out of the bed. And y'all, it was just a whole lot, okay? I did not have a little refrigerator next to me. So yeah, that was a little something, something right there. <laughs> But yes, y'all, um, I got lazy, okay? And I was just like, you know what? Let me just get him the breast and let me just stay giving him the breast. So that what happened. So he became a full breastfeeding baby, okay? Like just full hands on, all right? So yeah, so that happened. So now I have set a, a time frame of when I wanted to stop breastfeeding. So the initial time frame was, uh, I believe, six months. And then it changed to uh, 10 months. So y'all, let's talk about the time frame. Let's talk about putting ourselves on a, a time of when we want to stop breastfeeding our children. Let me just tell y'all this. When that time comes, when that time comes, I'm just going to be straight up with y'all. When that time comes, oh, it's not stopping. It's not stopping. You're not stopping. Okay? The baby on God did that. You on God attach as well because, y'all, this is a bonding session between you two. Okay? Like, y'all creating something, like, even stronger than the baby being in your womb. Okay? So, it just... And not to say for the ones who's not breastfeeding, you still have that bonding session when you're just feeding your child or when you're just doing what you do with your child. Like, but... I'm talking to the ones who do breastfeed, like, y'all, it's it's a no-go when y'all have that time frame to stop breastfeeding, like, for real, for real. I'm just letting y'all know, okay? <laughs> like, I'm just letting y'all know, okay? That time frame came and it went. It went. It went. Fast forward, he's one years old. Still breastfeeding. Still breastfeeding. He's about to he's about to go into his twos, okay? I'm a little I'm a little worried at this point. I'm a little worried because I'm just like, will she ever, will she ever get back to her normal, her normal self? Cause I don't, I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. And right now, y'all, like, just to be honest, I am trying my best to stop. I am trying my best to get him off of the breast. But when I tell y'all it's a fight, it's a fight. It's a fight because, like I said, attachments, okay? It's a, it's a strong attachment to the breast. I don't know what it is, but it's a strong attachment. I don't know if the milk is different. I don't. I just don't know. Like, it's just that attachment, okay? And even though he don't want to get off of it, a part of me is having some, you know what I mean? Like, a part of me is like, uh, should I, should I not? Like, I be having guilty moments, you know what I mean? Like, uh, if I stop, like, what? Am I bad for that? Like, you know, so it just, I be battling it with myself as well, y'all. So that's something that right now your girl is dealing with. And I, I can assure you somebody else is going through it. And if you are, you are not alone in this, okay? Like, we go through it. Us mamas go through it, all right? Like, through it. <laughs> I want to go ahead and talk about also regrets. So do I have any regrets in this? Um... Yes and no. I am I am gonna tell y'all what they are. So the regrets are for me. I should have still, you know, used the bottle with him, okay? That's my biggest regret. I should have like I should have just kept, you know, storing the milk and giving him the bottle, giving him the breast when it was needed, instead of just just giving it to him just because I was acting out of laziness and all of that. So yeah, that's my biggest regret. Far as breastfeeding him in general, I don't have no regrets in that because, again, I love breastfeeding legend. Like, I love, that's a that's a me and him thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I was able to bond with him even more. So, I have no regrets in that area. But, like I said before, far as giving him the bottle as well, so it would be easier on me and not so much on me, that's what I have regrets in. So, next question, do I want to breastfeed my future kids. Absolutely, I would want to breastfeed the kids to come in the near future, but like I said, I would do it so different, y'all. Like, they would have the bottle more than my breast, to be honest, just just honestly. I would pump, I would rather pump more than to just hand them the breast. Cause I, I'm telling y'all that, that 
getting them off the breast stage is something serious. Like I put up a fight. I just put up a fight with Legend not too long ago. Like, ugh, it was just a whole a lot, a lot of going on just now. So yeah, y'all. <laughs> some extra tips I do want to share some light on is to be patient, okay? Be patient with yourself and your baby when you just start into breastfeed. Um, yeah, it it that that moment takes time okay like for the baby to fully lash on now some babies are just good at lashing on right away but if your baby is a little you know struggling just a little bit be patient with yourself don't think that you're a bad mom um just you just know that he's learning or she's learning and yeah just just be just be more kind and gentle with yourself because you just you just delivered a whole baby you just had a whole baby okay so it's it's okay and i'll also say it's okay if you have to result in formula it's okay if you just have to bottle feed your child like as long as they get in that nutrients they are good okay like i promise y'all they are good so don't think also that you're a bad mom if you can't breastfeed at all because i had that little moment and i had to realize that no matter what i'm i'm still a good mom like no matter what okay as long as my baby or your baby is getting the food that all that should matters okay so i just want to shed some light on that as well another tip that i would like to give you guys is to also be patient with the baby when it comes to weaning them off don't get upset don't fuss and fight with them or nothing like that just understand that this is something that they was really attached to okay like i have to i have to understand that this is something that legend it's all he knows is the breast and yeah he know his sippy cup and all that but for his safety net for his little security blanket that's the word security blanket breasts are like security blankets to the babies okay this is their their safety zone right here so you have to realize that this is something that you know like they're used to so by you trying to get them off of that it, it, it's like hold hold up what you doing what you doing okay so yeah just understand that when it comes to your child and also i heard that sometimes baby knows when they want to get off of the breast yeah so if your baby three <laughs> If your baby is three and they've now decided to go off the breast, I, hey, they, they made up their mind and they tied up the breast, okay? So, <laughs> I also forgot to mention this. A thing that I've been doing is putting aloe. I've been putting aloe on my breast because um, a lot of older women have been telling me to put aloe on it because they don't like the taste. And legend do not like the taste. So, my baby is super smart. My baby is, I feel like he's a genius because... When I put the aloe on, he knows when I put it on. He will smell my breast. <laughs> he will smell my breast, bask up his face like this. And he will try to wipe it off with like another, like he would just try to wipe it off with either his like sleeve or with my shirt. He would just be trying to wipe it off. Or he will wait until it dissolves, like it dries a little bit and it's not that strong. Then he will lash back on. So, yeah, if your baby, <laughs> you can try aloe, but hey, these pandemic babies are built different, so yeah. But I, I wanted to share this video again because, like I said, it's a lot of mothers, newcomer moms, who have questions about these stuff and want to know, is this the right choice, is this the wrong choice? And breastfeeding is definitely something that you have to decide on your own on what to do and stuff so yeah i really hope this helps someone um just like i said just know you're not alone in this i do want to start doing more mother videos and just sit down talks and stuff because it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot that they don't uncover like for reals unless you're going through it yourself so huh, yeah trakela is here for the rest I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if it was helpful in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And leave some more video suggestions down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.